Hi everyone, this is Richard and we're going live. Second session today, um, so it's a kind of a bonus. Uh, there's no lesson in the evening, so we try to close out the day with a free talk with me. So if you have any questions you want to talk about, then we can talk together and I can help you out. So it's not a lesson time, just a bonus, bonus time for me today. So if anyone is out there, just tell me how you're doing and we can talk about anything you like. Hello, Lolly, welcome back. Hello, Meghna, how are you? So this is a special, just free chat uh, lesson. Sure. Where are you? Uh, where are you from, Meghna? Hello, happy English. How are you? Hello, Liana. So I haven't met you all, uh, some of you here. So where are you from and what time is it? So it's about six o'clock here in the evening in Yokohama. How about your place around the world? So like I said, usually we have kind of lesson, but it's kind of just a free talk with me about anything you want to ask. Uh, Malaysia, India, okay, thank you. And your question, Meghna. Meghna? What was your question that you wanted to ask me? 10 a.m. in France. Okay. 2.30 in the afternoon. Nice. Oh, happy. Hi. Russia. Is it cold? And yeah, hi, Vivik. India, thank you and welcome. Where in Russia, happy English, are you from? It's winter, it must be cold, you know? What was the question? Meghna, you wanted to ask. Cold, all right. Well, it's cool here, but not, not too cold. It's about maybe daytime, about 11 degrees. Maybe it's warm for you. In the evening here, it's about four to six. She is my neighbor. She is our next door. Uh, number one, she is my neighbor. But two, you can you can say she she lives next door. Or you can say she is our next door neighbor. But you don't say she is our next door. But number one is she is my neighbor. Uh, Vivek, uh, good question. I think reading a lot actually helps vocabulary. So if you can read something, some easy books is a good way. And one way is to, when you read these easy books, is to write down the words you don't know and check them and make a list is a good way as well. Smoky. Smoky? How is the, how, can you hear, can you all hear me fine? I'm just wondering about the audio connection. Also, Vivek, uh, listening to 
some audio may help, but I think reading is probably better. Listening might be difficult if you can't catch you know what you understand. So Song Alice Smoky. Oh, I'm not familiar. What kind of interview? Oh, thank you. What kind of interview, Vivek, are, are you going for? Is it an English speaking position? Ah, uh, the weather is a little cool. So it's in the evening in, in Yokohama, it's about uh, six, between two and six in the evening. Daytimes depend. Recently it's been a little warm, so about 10 degrees, 10 to 12 degrees. How about you? How's the weather like there, Meghna? A current topic debate. Mm. For example, can you give me a current topic debate? Why I don't understand movies here. I understand the links here. Ah, uh, because. Oh, great. Yeah, it was sunny today, but it's uh, in clear. Yeah. All right. I'm not familiar with the CAA citizen amendment bill, but I don't know the what they expect your English to be, so I can't really understand. I mean, help you in that sense. So, yeah, Lolly, it's it's very difficult to understand TV and movies because they a lot of native speakers. Uh, speak very quickly and and there's a lot of things like words that aren't familiar as well there's some very casual words that you may not know and also speaking in movies is like a lot of very just native speaking and it's fast and sometimes you can't a lot of slang too so a lot of words you you, you want hear and reading as well so and that's probably why you understand the YouTube youtubers teaching English because they maybe try to speak clearly and won't speak fast to you because they know you're they're teaching you but in a natural setting like in a movie that in TV series it's um, it's gonna be tough I think but the more you listen uh, the better you're gonna get it so don't you know, don't give up, but just keep trying to listen and catch some words and maybe you'll start to understand. But I think it's difficult if it's something brand new, but if you can watch or rent a video, a, the same video or the same movie, and you keep watching it again and again, you'll get better. So I, I about watching new shows, it might be hard to pick up. But maybe if you keep watching the same show again and again, just to get to understand what you're saying is good without any subtitles. Current topic. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Happy English. I tell your daughter, uh, uh, we said hi here from 4B English. I made a mistake. I made a blunder. Uh, blunder means mistake, uh, but you don't need to combine it with mistake. So I just, I made a blunder. And current topic? Well, there's a lot of current topics. Uh, one of the major ones is coronavirus. <laughs> so that's very <laughs> current. So. Everyone is talking about that virus. 
I mean, it seems to be all over the news, so. Yeah. So you can say, uh, I made a blunder, uh, but I, I don't know if you combine it, a blunder mistake, so. Because a, a, a blunder is a mistake. So if you say, I made a blunder, is better. So, not blunder mistake. So actually, I've never personally heard of blunder mistake, but I've heard I made a blunder. Don't feel us. Oh, sorry. Yeah, someone's asking about current topics, so I just brought coronavirus up. I don't... I didn't mean to try to scare any of you, so. I mean, we're all feeling a little anxious, even here in Japan, so. Yes. Oh. Oh. All right. Right. So there's, it's hard to, to understand what news, I mean, there's a lot of news that a lot of news that is fake and there's a lot of news that's true so which which one do you try to understand and is difficult I think so these days you have to make sure you get the news from the right source so I think Uh, what else is current news? Um, recently, Brexit happened the other day. That's current news. So they, they're out of the EU. So there used to be 13 countries in the EU. Now there's 12 because of, uh, sorry, because of England leaving uh, the EU. What is he saying? Oh, thank you. Yeah, we, we actually just stay tuned because uh, well, there'll be more, more what is he saying or what is she saying coming. So stay tuned. What do you mean, Magna M1? Have you checked the live today? Oh yes, happy English. So the live today, we did, we did a, what is he saying in the live, the earlier, the English lesson live, so. She's married to a doctor, she's married with a doctor. Ah yes, the fire in Australia, but fi I think they're finally getting that under control. Um, I don't know if they're completely out, but I haven't heard much of it in Australia, so it mu must be getting better. She's married to a doctor, or she's married with a doctor. Hmm. Alright, hold on. I've heard married to a doctor. Uh, married to a doctor, married with a doctor. Yeah, I would say married to is more what everyone uses. Uh, and but there is no you can say I married I married with a doctor. Uh, I think two is better. It just makes more it just sounds more natural to me.
Yeah, the bushfire. I think it's. I haven't heard anything because now they have the Australian Open, and they had when they first started the Australian Open. Actually, the the, the tennis players were having difficulties breathing because of the air, but now that hasn't been in the news. So I think they're making some progress in getting those fires under control. Also, there was recently a heavy, heavy rain in Australia. So I think that helped too as well. I, I'm here in the Yokohama area, happy English. Uh, do you live Where do you live in Russia? So I, we're around the Yokohama area. It's um, south of Tokyo. Not too far from Tokyo. The next uh, county over. All right. Okay. I'm not familiar with Ural. You're welcome. Yeah, so you in your interview, you have to talk about current topics. But I would think that if you, in your interview, if they knew that English wasn't your first language, I, I don't think that, you know, unless they want a fluent speaker, that that would be a problem, I think. But I think if you can get your idea across in the best way you can do in your own English, I think maybe that would be okay. So I'm not sure what kind of English ability they're asking you for in an interview. So. Oh, next to Siberia. Mm. Well. Okay. So that's west, closer to the west side. Right? Ah, okay. She answered. Okay. Ah, someone asking. Yeah, Meghna's asking, what's the best thing we can buy from Russia? So Uro is. I guess closer to the west side. I'm looking at a map here, so west side, west, southwest Russia, I think. From my map, it shows. Ah, yes, Mr. Trump <laughs> is a very hot topic. Hello, Asma. So, hello from Egypt. How can we? Uh, what do you want to practice? Speaking. Uh, listening, reading, writing, speaking. I don't know what you want to practice more. So, what time is it in Egypt right now? And is it warm there? <laughs> I know it's winter, but I I don't know the weather. What the weather's like in Egypt? So Lolly is. Uh, how is Miss, how is Trump looked upon by the French people? Sure, Carvia. Oh, caviar? Caviar. Carvia. I think you mean caviar. Oh, vodka, okay. So vodka and caviar. Caviar spilling. Ah, 
Oh, I've never been to India. I'd love to visit someday. Everyone that I know that's been to India, uh, they love it, so. Where are you in India, Meghna? Whereabouts in India? Yeah, I, I have a few friends uh, and colleagues I work with that have been to India, so I I the close I haven't really been in that area, but Thailand is around the area, right? No, yeah, I've been to Thailand, which is not really close to India, but kind of that area. So, Sami Khan, hello, Sami Khan, Kavar, Kaviar, Kaviar, Kaviar is Kaviar Sturgeon. So it's a kind of fish egg from sturgeon. Thank you. Happy English. All right. So I think maybe globally, um, Trump's image is maybe not so good and to some people around the world. So how are you, Khan? Where are you? Uh, where are you at right now and what time is it so we're here in yokohama so caviar actually is uh, from a fish called sturgeon so i don't know if you all are familiar so Sturgeon is a, a very big, large fish. Okay. Russia, yes, Russia likes Trump. But I think, of course, Trump's wife is Russian, right? I have a few friends uh, that like Trump. So, not a few, more than a few actually. Hello, Muhammad. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining our chat. Uh, Today is just a free chat. Hello, Ateros. Good morning. What time is it in Brazil? MBBS. All right. Okay. Kind of degree, right? MBBS. Hmm. Masters in business, right? Are uh, we say M MBS? MBA. MBA. MBA is a Master in Business Administration, I think. Yeah, so sometimes we'll have this free chat with me. Uh, we'll, we're doing, we're, we're been practicing actually having these live chats and now there's no lesson. So it's kind of a bonus free chat. What regularly we'll have every week once once a day usually but sometimes if we have time we'll do a free chat and we do a, a lesson uh and my other chat will be a live lesson but today this session is just a free chat 
with everyone who's joining. So, 6.24 a.m., morning, 2.30, pursuing. All right, All right. So my sister actually has a, got an MBA, and she's working uh, now, working and living in Southern California. So and she went back to school while she was working to get her MBA. That's good, yeah. Yeah, also caviar, Popular fish eggs in Japan are uh, ikura from salmon. So it's called. Uh, what? Salmon roe, I think. Right? But I'm not, I'm not a big fan of ikura, so actually I don't like, I don't like to eat any kind of fish eggs <laughs> myself. <laughs> so uh, I don't like, I don't know why, but I think it's just the texture, the texture of the the fish eggs in my mouth. So snowing, wow. I actually, it snowed here, a light snow last week, yeah. but sometimes we do get heavy snow here, but not, not too bad, so. Ah, Mohammed, yeah, sorry, I don't, yeah, I, I don't like uh, to eat fish eggs. Why don't I like? Okay. It's snowing. Yeah, it usually snows. Hmm. So heavy snow is about this much, I think, sometimes. Like maybe once or twice every winter. Yeah. I like, I love sushi. Uh, bachelor of surgery. Yes, Lali, I, I love sushi, but this type, Ikura, I don't like fish eggs. A uh, bachelor of medicine and bachelor of surgery. All oh, right, medical field. Okay, I see. I thought you meant M something to do business. So, you're welcome. How about yourself? Lolly, you like sushi? I think I watched a special that there's sushi, sushi, sushi shops in in France. Yeah, we we have a video. If you're interested in watching our video, we went to an all-you-can-eat sushi shop in Akihabara. So that video is actually in our video in our, our video section. So you can search for it. Uh, oh, you love sushi too. I like borscht. Mm. What is a borscht? And which sushi do you love, Lolly? Yeah, so our video, we went last summer uh, with another teacher who sometimes helps us with the channel, Rihanna, and uh, another student who is cousin, who's also, but he's in another channel, uh, Forbes, another one of Forbes connected channels is uh, Toic Challenge. Yeah, watch the video. Uh, we ate a lot, <laughs> a lot of sushi that day. So, ah, oh, Russia's favorite meal. What is inside the borscht? All fish. Oh, nice, nice. 
Uh, you like the fish eggs? I, I, another sushi I don't like is, um, the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, urchin, sea urchin. I don't like the sea urchin. Uni, uni. I don't like uni, uh, as well, so. Borscht. Mm. Any other questions uh, you, you all want to ask me? Borscht. Borscht soup. Ah, okay, I see. Borscht soup. Ukrainian dish. Oh, it's kind of a... Uh, mm. Meatball? No. Well, it depends. I guess a different version. Huh? So what is inside the borscht? Borscht dish. Happy English. Russia's favorite meal. Yeah, we have, uh, and about sushi, we have something called uh, kaiten sushi. It's a kind of sushi that goes around in a conveyor belt, and it, you just pick up the sushi that you eat. And usually it's pretty reasonable. Uh, depends on the sushi, so, but some places are about 100 yen a dish or so. It's about one one U.S. dollar. Did you go back often? Ah, uh, no, Lolly, I don't go back. So every so often. Oh no, man. Okay, great. Borscht. Yeah, so Lolly, I don't go back so often to the U.S. Every one, every few years. No, no, no. So what is in the borscht? A soup? Kind of soup? Yeah, so the, like I said, the sushi, the kaiten, that goes in around on a belt, and you grab the sushi off and you eat it. You keep the plates and like I said, it's about 100 yen for each plate that you eat. Some are more expensive than others. So, about a dollar, I guess. Yeah, I love. I love to eat, actually, I love all, most all sushi, but my favorite kind of sushi is uh, salmon, salmon sushi, and tuna, oh, soup, of course, all right. Is any meat inside the soup? Oh, star. Yeah, it's around dinner time here, so time for dinner. So, Lolly, is Sunday in France or Saturday? Sunday, right? I'm not sure because some Japan's time is a, a little different, so. Lunch time for you, right? So many years ago, I actually visited France, uh, southern France. One of my French friends lives in Toulouse. So I visited him many years ago 
when I was younger. And I stayed with him for a few weeks. And we and we went to the Atlantic coast to Biritz and we stayed in the Mediterranean side. Well, um, his family has a vacation home. Sunday in France, time for dinner in one hour. Right? Time. Sunday in France. Lunch time there, right? Dinner time here. Yeah, and yeah, so I don't eat sushi as well some people think we all that Japanese and people here eat sushi a lot but actually not not many people eat sushi all the time so every once in a while whether well, sushi shop one of those conveyor belt sushis in my neighborhood where I live so but we I even if it's in my neighborhood we don't often go, so maybe just once, once uh, a month, maybe. Yeah. But I, I know people that do eat a lot of sushi uh, once a week, maybe. So. so near one of my schools I teach at, there's also one of those uh, kaiten sushi shops and it's always full of students because it's cheap cheap to eat so so Lolly what will you have for uh, lunch today I had a lunchtime I had a chicken sandwich Uh, teriyaki chicken sandwich. Uh, any other questions out there? Oh, chicken and vegetables, nice. Uh, when I was in, so my last week when I was vacationing in France, my last week there, I stayed with my friend's girlfriend, uh, my friend's girlfriend's home in Paris around the, um, where is that? Uh, and I ate uh, roast chicken. Thank you, happy English. Uh, try to catch our show uh, one week from today. It'll be on at a different time, a little bit earlier, and it'll be a live English lesson. Uh, so when I was in Paris, I ate. I stayed in Paris the last part of my vacation, and I stayed in near the. What's the area called? Uh, oh, okay. I stayed when I was in Paris. I stayed in the Bastille area, and I at my friend's girlfriend's place. A home. Uh, I ate some couscous. It was good. Yeah, I had a good time in uh, going around Paris, uh, going around the subways there. Interesting city. Beautiful city. 
Ah, uh, the lesson the lesson is finished earlier today. You can watch the video link. And we did some of the what, what am I saying, and some spelling quizzes. But we'll be doing it again next week. But at this time, it's just a free talk with me, because I didn't have any lessons at the end of today. So. Yes. So when I when I was in France, I also visited uh, Spain. I went to uh, Salvador Dali's museum, and uh, I forgot the name of the city, but we went. We drove from southern France with my French friends just for a day, then went back, yeah. I have recently haven't had couscous, yeah. Maybe once, so, here in Japan, that is. So I, what's the name of the city where I had it? I visited Dali's museum, Figueres, Figueres, Spain. So it's also on the Mediterranean, Mediterranean side of uh, right below uh, France. And Dali's museum is very huge. So I was tired walking around looking at all his art. So he has, he has amazing art, but he had so many drawings and paintings yeah, right? His museum is huge. But Figueres is nice. The coastal city, the white buildings, and it's beautiful. I What I remember is the uh, uh, churros. <laughs> the churros are very good in Spain, actually. Yeah, but that museum, oh, it was very tiring to walk around see all his art but what i remember is the one painting that dali did it was like very tiny like this but amazingly that small painting had so much detail that was <laughs> i couldn't believe it i remember they put like a magnifying glass so we can see but wow the detail he put in that little tiny painting was amazing. Yeah, I, yeah, Figueres was nice. I, I didn't remember the buildings. And we also ate uh, that famous dish, Spanish dish. Uh, what is that dish called? Yeah, paella. Uh, paella. So paella. We ate that too in Figueres. Yeah, yeah Salvador Dali is, is great. And his ideas were, were excellent. It was very... Uh, but people don't know that his Impressionist work is very good as well. I mean, it's not uh, like his other art. Oh yeah, I've never been to, I'd like to. I work with, uh, at one of my other schools, I work at a university. I, I, we often, me and the other teachers, English teachers often talk to the Russian teacher. She's from uh, the capital city. Moscow, Moscow, or from another big city. Moscow and yep. Okay, hold on. Saint oh Saint Petersburg. The Russian teacher I work with is from Saint Petersburg. She always we always talk with her about everything, and she tells us about. 
Russia. I think the Russian teacher I work with lives outside of St. Petersburg, I think. Someday, uh, I've never been to that part of the world. One day, maybe, I'd, I'd like to visit there. So, India, too. I'd like to visit India someday. So have, have you been to Japan? Any of you on uh, listening to me? Moscow is the best city in the world. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, from everything I've seen from Moscow, it looks like a beautiful city. Yeah, I, I, I'm, you know, I, I read a little bit about um, so I was interested in theater when I was younger. I so I read about Stanislavski. Um, I was a fan of his uh, acting style. So I read uh, his biography about acting. Sami Khan, hello. Your pre, yeah, your, your thoughts are your thoughts. Uh, I'm just here chatting with you. <laughs> Thank you, Happy. I'm happy to talk to you as well. Hello, how can I pronounce T between two vowels in American accent? It depends where the T is at. So T, when it's in the middle of the word, has like a D sound, or at the end, it's silent. So can you give me an example? So if it's in the middle of a word, the T sound will sound like a D. And at the end, we'll have no, no sound. Eight. Ah, okay. Eight. Yeah, so... Ah, so with the T-I, it has an S-H sound. Patient. Sound. So. so combined has like an S-H sound. Right? Patient. Eight in this situation actually just has a regular sound like a T. But some words, T words in the middle of a word have a D sound. And T at the end of words, yes, like this, patient, has no sound. So here actually is a silent sound. Oh, water, okay. A D sound, water. Okay. Okay, all right, so we're going to wrap it up. But like, So in the middle of a word, the T sound will sound like a D. Okay? Water. Water. But at the end, no sound. Usually. But this is an exception. So not aid. 
eight. Okay, so we have to wrap it up. Thank you for joining my uh, free chat time. Uh, stay tuned for our English lesson one week from today. Thank you, Khan, for the question. Thank you. And we'll, I will keep in mind, and then I'll, I'll answer that next time. All right, so we have to go. Thank you, everyone, for joining the free chat, and we'll have a, a lesson next week uh, in the morning session here. And if time, you know, we'll maybe we'll do another free chat with you. Thank you. See you all. Goodbye.